How we doing, everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with a quick Hot Fuego tips and tricks video for uh, our studio. Mostly these are going to end up being uh, shortcuts and commands and stuff to press. Um, but for the first one, or I guess number 10, you could say, um, a very important thing is to use either the uh, tidyverse or the data table library. Now, both of these do similar things. Um, data table is a bit quicker, but uh, the way you type stuff in is, is pretty weird. So I prefer the tidyverse. Um, the tidyverse includes things like dplyr, ggplot, uh, reader. Uh, there's so many different packages in there, and they're all really great. The nice thing is, the advantage it gives you over uh, base R is it's a lot faster. Um, so, like, Regular R has a read.csv, right? And it's slow. <laughs> and uh, uh, the tidyverse has a read underscore CSV, and it's much faster. Um, the code runs in compiled C code in the background. Um, and so it's just, uh, it's like it's like night and day. Uh, just everything about it is way better. Um, you need to get familiar with those two packages if you want to be any type of good uh, with R. Okay, uh, now after that, we're gonna go to uh, number nine. And so number nine is clearing the console. So, the, so these are the, the nine shortcuts that I use the most. Um, so clearing the console. So let's say we got some, some stuff down here. I is equal to 10, and K is equal to 30. <laughs> Anyways, we've got a bunch of stuff in the console down here. Sometimes it can just get in the way and you might wanna clear it. Um, also, I should say I'm on Mac. Some of these are gonna be the same, but I'll have uh, the commands put up there for Windows and Mac. But anyways, for uh, Mac, to clear the console, you press Control L. And it clears it, makes it look real good. All right, tip number eight, um, hitting the escape key. So you might have a command that's running forever. Um, you can always press the little red button there, uh, but we'll, we'll do one. Well, I is less than a hundred. We're gonna. Uh, well, it's going anyways. <laughs> I didn't quite work like I was expecting, but anyways, we we have this running right. So you can hit this little red key, or if you're just using the keyboard, you can press the escape key, and that is gonna get you out of whatever uh, function or whatever endless loop, or if you run into big uh, big function and it's not working, um, you're able to interrupt that. All right, the next one is, let's say we have a big line. Um, so let's say the iris, we'll take the iris data set. We're gonna mutate and we'll say, uh, we'll say, I don't even remember what's in here. So if we take a look at the iris data set, uh, we have sepal.length. So say sepal.length. Nah, that's, we'll say. All right, so if we look at our variables here, we see we have uh, sepal length. So we could mutate, make a new variable. We'll call it uh, sepal length squared is equal to sepal, sepal dot length times sepal dot length. All right, so we have a new variable sepal length squared. Um, if you're wanting to switch like one thing or something at the begin beginning of the line or something, um, you can actually go straight to the front of the uh, beginning of your line by doing uh, command and left. So yeah, on a, on a Mac, it's gonna be command left, and if you're on a Windows, it should be home. And then if you wanna go all the way to the end of the line, you do command right, or end if you're on Windows. So pretty, pretty nice one there. The next one, I do this a ton where I'm, sw I'm switching in between tabs. So if you need to switch in between tabs, you do Control and then F11. Right, and that's gonna go left one tab. So Control F11 goes left one tab. Control F12 goes to the right one tab. So instead of having to come up here all the time and click it, that's just a little bit quicker of a way to switch in between tabs. All right, now we're getting to the real fire here, okay? 
we're getting to the good stuff. So let's say we got this. We'll pipe it into a summarize. We want the sum of the sepal length squared. And all this stuff here is, is part of the dplyr package. But right now we have a, a three line chunk of code, right? Let's suppose we wanted to uh, comment this out. You don't have to go to each line and do that, right? What you can do is highlight what you want to comment out and then do a shift command C. And that's going to comment out your whole chunk. And then if you want it back, you just do the same thing. Shift command C. And again on Windows, I'll put up the, uh, what it is for Windows up there. All right, so like I said, we're, we're, getting, we're getting to the fire here. For the next one, let's say we're doing like a for loop or something, or we're putting this in a function. Uh, we'll just do a, a for loop for i n one through 10. What are we doing in this for loop? Nobody knows. <laughs> but when you, when you have a for loop, you're gonna wanna tab the whole thing over, right? So we would have to go through and tab, tab, tab. Or you can just highlight all of your rows and press tab once, and then it'll tab everything over. If you decide to get rid of the for loop, you have something in a for loop, but you wanna test it out before you put it in the for loop. You highlight everything, and then you press shift tab, and then it'll back tab everything in your rows. All right, we're getting to the good good. Um, so let's say you want to delete a line. So this is tip number three, deleting a line. This one's really nice. Um, it's kind of a pain to highlight and delete a row. So the other way you can do it um, is do Command and D. And it's just gonna delete that whole row. We'll bring that back. <laughs> but Command D deletes rows. <clears throat> All right, now my two absolute favorite. Okay, these are bangers here. These are life-saving mechanics that will save your life, okay? <laughs> These are nice. So what these are is uh, command enter. So you may have noticed when I've been running this stuff, I haven't had to come up and press run, All right? So normally you have to highlight and press run, right? Nobody likes doing that. Uh, what you can actually do is you can either highlight and press command enter and that'll run it. Or if you're on the, the first line of this uh, chunk of code here, you can just press command enter on that. All right, so it'll run whatever row you're on. It'll run that command. And that one is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> All right, the best one that, uh, that we have is uh, re rerunning the last chunk. So let's say you wanna, uh, you wanna do, make, a change to your, <laughs> make a change to your code. Uh, so let's say instead of squaring it, we're gonna double it. All right, so we wanna double our sepal length, and so that'll be sepal length times two instead of sepal length times sepal length. And then down here, we're gonna wanna summarize the double sepal length. Well, instead of having to um, highlight this code again and press command enter again, what you can do is shift command P, and it runs the same chunk of code that you just ran. Right, so you can make whatever changes you want to that chunk that you ran and press shift command P and it's gonna rerun that last chunk. So, pretty fire. All right, I hope these tips and tricks are things that may help you out in your R coding. Um, if it was, make sure to press thumbs up so that you other people can find this video. Subscribe if you want more of the best R content that there is on the whole platform of YouTube. It's right here. And uh, thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.